It's overtime with 20 seconds left. Capture the flag on refuge with the score tied at 2-2. Each team is within arm's reach of victory. After a grueling 15 minutes of high-level arena gameplay, even good players can choke under pressure or rise to the occasion and clutch the win for their team. It's these moments that separate the best from the greatest. First and second place. It's these moments that make us appreciate the rush of what a great game of Halo can give us. Today, we're taking a look at gameplay from Proximity and Friends where they're faced with several game deciding moments that take them right to the buzzer. Once again the game is capture the flag on Refuge. Proximity and his team are on the blue side, facing off against players in online ranked arena. We're going to be jumping in at overtime, with almost a minute left. At this point, Red Team is carrying the flag and making great progress through Blue's courtyard. With the game currently at a 2v4 situation, the odds were in Red Team's favor, and it was looking like the game was about to collapse to a defeat for Proximity's team. But there's still a chance. Proximity and Samaritan both spawn in their rocks, and at the perfect time too. With clear sights through open fields to the flag carrier, Proximity and Samaritan both put shots on the enemy, taking down his shield while Rippin and Corpsick are taken down one at a time. Now this is it, it's 2v4, with Red Team's victory just a stone throw away. It's all up to Proximity and Samaritan to keep the game alive. They both tunnel in and hold forward towards Courtyard. Red Team are now fully aware of Blue Team and where they're coming from, and move in accordingly. Samaritan thrust slides and gets a clean kill shot on the flag carrier, stalling the flag a little bit more. Now, Proximity and Samaritan are both one shot. All the last red player has to do is get two clean headshots and it's essentially game over. However, they make a terrible decision and run to the flag. Now, sometimes this can happen. In the heat of the moment, pressure is on you. The time is almost up and the flag is so close. Tunneling in on the objective can happen. And in this case, it did not work out in Red Team's favor. Samaritan spots the enemy player rushing the flag and gets an easy kill to top off this incredible clutch overkill with proximity. It's not over yet, there's about 40 seconds left and someone needs to make a play. Proximity and Corpsic hold forward into the front of the red base, throwing nades for any enemies coming up the back ramp. Unfortunately, red players start to spawn in from their courtyard and put damage on both Corpsic and Proximity, forcing them to get behind cover and stay alive, while a lone red player beelines it for blue team's flag. Samaritan pulls the flag, there's 30 seconds left. He takes a route through red rocks while Proximity, Rippin, and a red player are taken down. Okay, let's back up a a bit. As all this was happening, a red player made his way through bottom turret to flank Samaritan pulling the flag, but is spotted by his teammates, making Samaritan drop the flag to put damage on the flanker. Knowing that Corpsic can take it from here, he switches back to the flag and continues to run it while Corpsic cleans up that kill. By this point, Red Team have carried Blue Team's flag all the way to mid and have that sweet victory in sight. But that victory could not be farther away. It was this moment that would decide the fate of Red Team. As Samaritan was running the flag through Red Rocks and into Blue's courtyard, one Red player spawns in their courtyard and guns it towards Samaritan, while the other player is seen making his way into Ring 1. Do you see the mistake? They both know that Corpsic is still in the red base and their flag carrier is on the final stretch. Red team have far less distance to cover than blue team does. All they have to do is kill Corpsic and ensure their teammate makes it home safely. But instead, they tunnel in on Samaritan running the flag, allowing Corpsic to kill the enemy flag carrier and stall the game once more. Samaritan just has to run the flag home as his teammates start spawning in for support. As he is running the flag into his courtyard, he stumbles the flag right under Red's carbine. As he turns around to recover, he's faced with two enemies, but has proximity coming in to help. They both put damage on their enemies, but Samaritan is taken down. Proximity has to kill the last player. He puts down damage, but his clip runs out of ammo and his enemy is just shots away from saving the game. I was able to get the first kill as Justin died, but the second guy I couldn't quite get and I missed my shots. I was then out of ammo and my magnum and realized if I could grab the flag, I would have a full clip and I'd be able to shoot again. 
but I also needed to keep that flag moving towards our flag point because if there was gonna be any hope we could cap within the time limit, I needed to be moving it at all points in time. I needed to be using every second I had to run in that flag. Some players might not know this, but when you pick up a flag, you essentially get a brand new Magnum with it. And Proximity knows this and uses this trick to keep the game in play. There's five seconds left. Proximity is steps away from home plate, but wait, it's not over yet. On the other side of the map, Corpsick and Rippin are keeping eyes on their flag, but they are fully oblivious to a sneaky red player tiptoeing his way towards the flag. All he has to do is back smack Corpsick, grab the flag, and thrust it home. Can he pull it off? Oh yes! Oh my god, dude! Holy shit, that was insane! Yo! Let's fucking go, baby! Such an incredible clutch moment for Proximity and Samaritan. But let's look back at that red player at the end. From what we see, this player was faced with a heart-pounding decision, and it completely broke their judgment. From their point of view, there's three seconds left, the flag is so close, and the enemy doesn't see him. This could be his moment, he could be the hero. This amount of pressure can easily cause you to slip up, even in online matchmaking. That or maybe, you know, he was just trolling his team, we wouldn't really know. But after 15 minutes of non-stop back and forth, clutch play after clutch play, Play, it begins to wear a player down. And it's these moments that separate the players that can rise up and those that choke under pressure. The winners from the losers. Oh my god, dude! Holy shit, that was insane! Yo! Let's fucking go, baby! Can we talk about that gun? Oh my god! Play? Oh my god! Thank you for watching this episode of Tactics, and thanks to Proximity for supplying the game footage and allowing us to create this piece of content. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, leaving a like or subscribing always helps.